Okay, so here we are at the nursery. Now we've got a bit of a earwig problem, uh, but in permaculture you have that idea that there's not an earwig uh, too many. It's not too many earwigs, there's just a, uh, or an earwig surplus I should say. It's not an earwig surplus, there's a predator deficiency. And so what could be a good predator for the earwig? My friend Bertha here. So. I've grabbed her, she's, um, uh, she's really great, if I get near her she just like squats down and I can just catch her really easily. So I've found a whole bunch of earwigs underneath the, um, the wood pile here. So I just thought I'd leave it. There you go, she is loving it. So earwigs aren't all that bad. Um, they can kill some little seedlings and little green shoots and stuff, but um, usually they're actually a good predator for other things like um, caterpillars, aphids and stuff, so they're not too bad to have around the veggie garden. And the last thing you want to do is just spray the whole thing. And this is, I think, is a really great solution is you can just get Bertha in, give her a good feed, keep the, um, the whole circle of life t ticking over, and um, yeah, and then we'll just not give these guys such a... Uh, um, easy accessible living space so we'll move the wood up and um, and then also yeah just make sure that the whole floor and everything's nice and clean so so they um they don't have as many happy homes to live in so then there won't be as many of them but in the meantime I think Bertha's pretty happy because she gets a good feed.